she is 11. But already punching her way out of every tag or glass ceilings about what girls can do with a rare skill, poise, and dexterity. Ah, I don't know if you want to be a No, I'm training. She's a machine with a shadow. Lucky for her, the age that she has started and the time she will get to the higher level, she will understand it more and she will make a lot of name to herself, to the family, and to Ghana. Somebody like Najat, give Najat two years. I'm telling you the fact is she's going to take medal for Ghana in 2023 only all African games in Ghana. I want to see myself in future as the first female boxer in Ghana who won the world title. This is Najat Loko, the burden female boxer from Jamestown. History has favored men as the stars of the boxing world. In Ghana, Azuma Nelson, Ike Bazooka Korte, DK Poison, Isaac Dobe, and Richard Coming readily come to mind. Najad has a dream bigger than herself to etch her name on the list of great boxing legends in the country, a feat only now Amelia Texan strived to attain even at the prime. Of her career. A lot of people see females as um, we, don't, we don't have strength, we can't do all the things that men do. So I choose boss. I want to see myself in future as the first female boxer in Ghana who won the world title. Why we the female boxers in Ghana we are not much than the footballers we don't get the support. And they thought boxing is an individual sport. The boxing is an individual sport. That, when they took the medal, when the, one person took a medal, it's a one. But as a football team, they, they take a medal. The whole team take a medal. We count it one. What we need, is, we need support. Somebody like Najat, give Najat two years. I'm telling you the fact is she's going to take medal for Ghana in 2023 only all African games in Ghana. Let's bet. I know what I'm saying. Trained by her father, Carl Loco. Again. She's filled with arrogance of talent. Majat is as fast as a fly in the ring with a powerful striking left punch. In this family, boxing is second nature. I chose boxing because I always see my family, almost all of them, into boxing. So I chose boxing to be part of them. She took a knife fish can can. Then I come on about four years. Kakan she had a gallon akanga. She saw it better a bunny janush in a buga gallon. It's a she tun can canish. Game, game. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I want to talking about boxing. Boxing has been in my vein, I've been in my blood, and I'm so happy to see my children trying to follow my footsteps by them being boxers as I'm a trainer. Um, every coach will be happy to see his words, to see his kids, his children, trying to do what he does. And um, when I see them most of the times, I, I become more proud, I become more, I become more serious because you have been training with other boxers and other people, which some of them, sorry to say, don't appreciate what you are doing for them. So when your own children are doing it, how happy you will be? I'm so happy to see them doing it. Even if they are not going to take it, 
to whatever level, anytime I see them, they are my inspiration now. Because even if I want to stop doing boxing, if I think of my children, there is no way I'm going to, to stop doing it. Najat wants to do more than just knocking down her opponents in the ring. She goes to school. Her teachers say she commits herself to schoolwork as much as her trainer and moments of fierce fighting in the boxing rings. I was I was very excited when um, I got a uh, female bosser in the school. Actually, we don't have boss. We have bosses. We have um, athletes and footballers in this school. And uh, when the father told me that uh, this is what the girl wants to take part in it, I said, oh, "Fine, it's a good idea. So you should allow her. Maybe." You will, will be one of the best female bosser in the country. So I encouraged the father, and uh, in fact, I was I was very excited when uh, she got this uh, cap, which he presented it to the school. Seated in her class, flanked by her miss, she wears an innocent face, but in her face. There exists a violent power of destruction, yet in her thoughts, a deep-seated sense of passion for saving lives as a doctor. That was an advice of my father. He told me in life, you don't have to put, um, you don't have to aim on only one thing. Always you have to think twice. So I decided in future to become a doctor. But because I added boxing, I, I took the advice of my father, so always after school, I go to training and sometimes if I can't make it to training, I tell my father that Dad, today I can't make it to training, so after he goes to training, come back to train me at home. Though young and amateur, everyone appreciates her skill set, but above all, her intellect. Academic wise, she's brilliant. Sports wise, she's very good. Combining both of them, in the near future, I would think Najat to go many heights. From here, we think if she would go the way she's going, she will attain more glory for herself and for the family and the school as well. So it's our vivid prayer that the way she is going, she keeps going like that, and the sky is going to be her limit. Boxing is hard work and painstaking. She's doing well in combining the rigorous training regime associated with boxing and schoolwork. Every midnight, my mother wakes me up, um, bath, get to school early, come back and get back to training. So always I try to come to training, but sometimes if I can't come to training, I just tell my dad, dad, today I will not make it to training and say, okay. Your homeworks, how often do you do your homework? How does training affect you uh, and your homework? Training never affects me on doing my homework because if you, you are a student uh, we, who attend Apidex Academy, you, you, you must not, you must not um, miss doing your homework. You always have to be punctual, always do your homework. So if you don't do your homework, there will be some punishment for you. So I always do my best to do my own work. Naja today, good girl ni. Mota na so kuya abu, mota sa abu. Tuta na kankani, chicho chingi complain. Kama naja, good girl ni. Isa naja today, ita ba te ka own work inta gida. Nita na yukumi to do ko school. Na ugoda mata bumba ta understand. Nita na kama chicho ching na ada sport no su ugoda mata. Answers iso tayi. Isa inta zo turn out the free. I have to be always be connected to the school. I have to be connected to the teachers so that they will help me. Then I'll also see what is going on. So she is very serious when it comes to school. She is one of the best five at the class all the time. 
since she started going to school. The best five all the time. So I always make sure that when she's back from school, the homework aspect is very important to me. Ajaz is a very disciplined student and a very brilliant one as that. She does everything we ask her to do at the appropriate time without making mistakes. For a young promising boxer with the devotion and conduct of a professional, a miss, teachers and many others see greatness in her. Oh, you see, as I know the father is a boxing coach and through the father, we know she will go far. When the father was able to handle her very well, or handle her well, she, she, she will be one of the best uh, bossa, female bossa in the country. Apart from uh, Yako Chavez and others, I think uh, we have a, a, a good bossa, a female good bossa in this uh, uh, community. She can become a good bossa in future, so um, I'm telling him to um, help himself, uh, herself to take a higher than how is, is, she is now. Do you see a potential in her becoming one of the biggest boxers in the country? Yes, to be honest, yes, because she's a female, as you are, you are asking me. And to make a good name for yourself, luckily for her, we don't have a lot of female boxers in the system. We have some, but we don't have that much. Lucky for her, the age that she has start, and the time she will get to the higher level, she will understand it more, and she will make a lot of name to herself, to the family, and to Ghana. So, yes, I believe she will. Najah's journey of rewriting boxing history started about five years ago. For Happy Days Academy, we always nurture children sports-wise and academic-wise. You can see, as you can see, we have a mini kids Olympic Games. We won we, that Joy FM organized. We took part about three, four years ago. We won about 30 good medals. So for the school, we make sure Najat is being brought up very well. And adding academics to it, we make sure she's also well trained in the academic aspect as well. So that she'll be able to attain better or good heights in the future. If winning those medals were just the beginning of a career nurtured from bed, as her mother put it, then she capped it off becoming the overall best boxer in the Basiseka Boxing Championship, a community organization that is determined to awaken the fighting spirit in juvenile boxers and that and her scholarship. Yes, we used to have the tournament who have been which have been happening every year, which the tournament name is called Besisaka. Besisaka is a new um, foundation or a setup to give the youth or the juvenile a platform for them to showcase what they are. And it was clear that the, the, next, the last one that happened, that was December um, 2020, they give a chance that they want females to come and participate. And it was clear that Najat is with me pushing the mind to become a boxer and start. I said, no, Najat, there is, a, there is a potential tournament coming on. We need to go there. You need to go there. Go and prove yourself and showcase what you got. You can't be in a room all the time, be in a gym, so you have to go there. So this is where I psyched her and we just got prepared within a short time and we enter into the tournament. And she did well, she did great and she became the best um, female boxer of the tournament. And from there, she was selected to be one of, I mean, the, the boxers who got a scholarship. So now she is on the scholarship, the scholarship in support of school, books, and I mean one or two things, like monthly, get some kind of provisions to, to, to move on with. Many years ago, Na Amelie Texan took a bold decision to start boxing. Maybe at the time, Na was the only female boxer. She, more than anyone else, knows how difficult it is for a girl to punch her way through male-dominated sport like boxing. 
boxing is a very disciplined game. The time I, at the time I started boxing, my coach used to talk me, do this, don't follow this, follow this, don't go here, go here, go here. That's the coaches. That's the work of the coach. And the boxer, coach, supposed to be the welfare of the boxer. He's supposed to know the welfare. They handle the boxer where to go and where not to go, what to do and not to do. So it's in the hands of the coach. But my advisor to Najat, she should look at me and do what I said and do what I do and where I reach and I couldn't continue to continue. This is just a, a normal talk people always saying. What about uh, Serena Williams? Uh, she have gave birth to I mean, like, some of the athletes like Marianne Joyce we know from US, Serena Williams from US, some African country, uh, African country athletes are give birth. But that's the, the way they, we used to talk. When you wear a military uniform, they said the men are scared to call you. So when you are a boxer, when a man called you, then you are start punching the man. Hello. Don't have any coach, Kaloku. It's a two hundred and eighty-nine at Chicken Field. Yes, I've been the kid to fear. In your duba, in boxing, in your matter, tight, he fine. She a duba help in terms of the jigaba. If Najat is to realize her dream of redefining what it means to be a female boxer, the Jamestown girl would just have opened the door for history to finally recognize the skill and talent of women in the ring beyond their gender.